सो वेलकम बैक एवरी वन दिस इज माई एंक एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स ऑनवर्ड्स राइट दिस इज नथिंग बट रिड्यूसिंग एंड इंक्रीजिंग द पोर्टफोलियो बीटा रिड्यूसिंग द पोर्टफोलियो बीटा वी विल बी यूजिंग द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी हैव यूज इन द पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट चैप्टर इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट चैप्टर ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन एंड सिक्सटी वेर ऑन रिड्यूसिंग एंड इंक्रीजिंग द पोर्टफोलियो बीटा इन दिस केस वी विल बी रिड्यूसिंग द बीटा बेसिकली इट मीन्स hedging your portfolio in portfolio management itself it means in portfolio management also we did the hedging part unknowingly there was some kind of a beta given in the question and we had to reduce it and we took risk free securities we brought risk free securities in the portfolio to reduce the risk of the portfolio that is nothing but hedging itself okay so this is what we are going to discuss in question from question number 36 onwards so let's have a look on 36 question itself have a look okay so mr a has a portfolio of 5 crore rupees consisting of equity shares of x limited and y limited okay so there are two types of securities in his portfolio x limited and y limited with beta of 1.15 other information is as follows you can see that the spot value of index futures is given to you as 21000 and the multiplier is 150 when you multiply 21000 with 150 you will get a value of one contract you are requested to reduce the beta of the portfolio 2.85 from 1.15 to 0.85 and increase the beta to 1.45 as well so we have to increase the beta and reduce the beta as well what does that mean reducing the beta means hedging hedging and this is going against it increasing the beta means increasing the risk as well okay so there are two options with us change in composition through risk free security this part was discussed by us in portfolio management chapter and this is going to be something new we will be hedging with the index futures so this is a question where you are going to hedge your portfolio with two different types of instrument first is the risk free securities and the second is the futures simple have a look question number 36 so we have a portfolio of 5 crore rupees the beta of the portfolio at this point is 1.12 am i right 1.15 okay now we have to bring risk free securities first of all reduce beta to 0.85 so remember the risk free securities using risk free securities it's very simple sir portfolio beta is nothing but the weighted average of the betas in the security so what we used to do was we used to take the weight of the old portfolio in the new portfolio and the beta of old portfolio plus weight of the risk free security that we want to bring in into beta of the risk free security okay now so do you agree with me on this uh, formula now there are two different things that we need to consider from this point whether the question is asking you to add risk free security in a portfolio or it is asking you to change the composition with risk free security now both will have different meaning in this case the old portfolio value will be 5 crore and you will add risk free securities worth of x amount and the new portfolio value will be 5 plus x and this was done by us in portfolio management chapter okay but in this case they have asked you to change the composition through risk free securities what does that mean it means that old portfolio plus risk free security 
and this is going to be new portfolio and the total of the new portfolio should remain 5 crore so this is the difference whether we want to add more funds to the portfolio or reduce some funds from old portfolio and add it in the risk free security so actually what we are going to do in this question is we have an old portfolio worth 5 crore rupees we are going to sell some securities worth x amount and add that in the risk free security so what is going to happen if you are going to sell those amount let's say for example 1 crore rupees of the shares you are selling and adding it in the risk free security so ultimately the portfolio will be 5 crore again but you have changed the composition that is what called as changing the composition of the portfolio so this is what we have to do in this question in portfolio management we we kept the value of the old portfolio as it is and then we added more funds to the portfolio to reduce the beta but we don't have to do this thing in this question this is the question for changing the composition itself that means sell some securities and add it in the risk free security the total should be 5 crore remember that okay <coughs> cool now let's take this now let's continue with the formula and we can be very good now at solving the question new portfolio the portfolio beta that we want after including the risk free securities is 0.85 am i right then weight of old portfolio understand weight of old portfolio keep it as weight of old portfolio and beta of old portfolio is 1.15 plus this entire figure will be zero because weight of risk free securities whatever it will be the beta of the risk free securities will be zero so this entire statement will become zero now with the help of this we can easily calculate weight of old portfolio in the new portfolio 0.85 divided by 1.15 so that's 73.91 percent what does that mean the total portfolio value will be 5 crore and out of that 5 crore you have to keep 73.91% in the old portfolio or we can say in the equity shares yeah in the portfolio so what is going to happen hmm. see so value or we can simply say value of equity portfolio is 5 into 73.91 or should be 5 into 73.91 percent that's 3.6995 that is 5 minus 3.6955 this much of the amount 1.3045 crore worth of portfolio should be sold and or we can say should be sold out or should be squared off and the same should be invested in risk free security so the portfolio will look like equity you can say worth of 3.6995 sorry and risk free securities in your portfolio will look like 1.3045 the total will be 5 crore see the beta of the equity is 1.15 the beta of the risk free security is 0 okay and the weight of this is 0 0.7391 and the weight of risk free security is 0 0.2609 with when you multiply when you go for calculating the weighted average beta it will be 
into point seven three nine one. So that's point eight five zero, and this is going to be point eight five. This is how it is going to be. Did you understand what has happened? It's very simple, sir. You just calculate the weighted average beta, keep the port new portfolio beta here and the old portfolio beta here. Till this point, I think we have solved the questions in the portfolio management itself. But what used to happen in the portfolio management chapter is that we used to divide this percentage with five crore instead of directly applying in the five crore. Now I will tell you the difference in the uh, portfolio management chapter and the derivatives chapter. in portfolio management chapter and in the derivatives chapter it doesn't mean that you have to apply the same in uh, respective chapter it depends upon the question if you want to add more funds or if you want to change the composition that's the purpose so if you want to change the composition and add more funds this is going to be the treatment have a look 5 crore divided by 0.7391 this is what you have you would have done if you would have wanted to add more funds so 5 divided by 0.7391 this would have been the new portfolio value so 6.7650 okay then minus the old portfolio value so 1.7650 would have been the risk free securities that you would have included or added in the portfolio but in this case what is happening Five multiplied by point seven three nine one, so that's three point six nine five five minus five crore, one point three zero four five worth of risk-free securities. So, this is the answer of the portfolio management that. with uh, this is the answer of the portfolio management that this much of the risk-free securities should be added in the portfolio. and this is the answer of this question this much of the security should be added in the portfolio but please understand the total value of the portfolio in that question was 6.7650 so this is the additional funds that you would have to brought like you had to brought in but this there there in this case there is no additional funds that you need to add just you have to do one thing that you have to sell the securities worth 1.3045 from the equity and then add it in the risk free securities the total in this case remains same okay so this is 1.305 do you understand this question now change in the composition has this meaning okay then let's go for the uh uh index futures how we can reduce the beta through index futures also before moving to the new part i will just make sure that in from both the actions with this one or this one the portfolio beta will get reduced to 0.85 so the purpose will get solved in both the parts that's not an that's not a question but exactly what we want to do that was the question okay so let's move on to the second part that how we can use index futures to reduce the beta it's very simple sir we will calculate the number of contracts in this case we need to short why short i will tell you you have a long position in the spot market and the beta is positive so that you will take a short position in the index futures in order to do the hedging that means you will take a short position now <coughs> how do you calculate the number of contracts it's the value to be hedged the logic is this na the value to be hedged multiplied by risk to be reduced divided by contract value futures contract value so value to be hedged is 5 crore risk to be reduced how much risk you have to reduce you have to reduce it from from 1.15 to 0.85 so, and divided by 20 okay we have to write it in full 5 crore let me just write it down 5 crore into risk to be reduced 21000 into 150 this will give you the number of contract see understand what is exactly given here i will just take the same part in this case as well or 
let me first explain this and then we'll go back to that understand what is given here this is the portfolio value that you have in the market 5 crore rupees now when you multiply it with this much of the amount that means you are reducing this risk 0.30 the you are reducing the risk by 0.30 and this will give you the contract value one contract value let's just all solve it 5 crore into 0.30 divided by that's 1.5 crore and 31 lakh 50 thousand so One crore fifty lakhs. One crore fifty lakhs, thirty-one lakh fifty thousand. So that comes to four point seven six. That is five contracts. You will have to go short. If you go short with the five contracts, na. your purpose will be achieved your beta will come down to 0.85 but exact hedging hedging will happen with 4.76 contracts are not five contracts but we know that in practical life we cannot go with the fractional contracts so that's why we will be doing some kind of over hedging are you getting this 4.76 contracts and 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 let me just go through see the one that we have done in this case is very simple to use so let me just go through this part that what exactly institute has done number of stock index futures to be sh short is that existing beta 1.15 1.305 crore value of spot position to be hedged into 21000 into 150 why they would have spot put they had they would have taken the then the instead of swapping 1.305 crore to risk free security the portfolio manager mr a can also reduce the beta of 2.85 by selling 4.76 contracts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 1.305 into 1.15 okay got it divided by c this formula is correct that there is nothing wrong given in the question but the presentation is very bad presentation is very bad 1.305 into 1.15 into 1 crore then divided by 31 lakh 50000 yeah the presentation is right there is nothing wrong in the uh, sorry the answer is right the presentation is wrong i will tell you what i did and what has been done here and then you decide what exactly you want to follow I said that I want to reduce five crore multiplied by point three zero of the beta. So I wanted to reduce the risk. I wanted to reduce the risk on five crore, and I wanted to reduce it by point three zero only. I wanted to bring it down from one point one five to point eight five. So this resulted into one point five crore. That means this is how much you have to take the position in the portfolio futures. but what is done by the institute in this case is they have taken the value that has been derived from the previous part otherwise it would have been very difficult for you to find out this amount they took the 1.305 they knew that you will have to secure this much of the amount so they took 1.305 and then they multiplied it with 1.15 that means entire beta so instead of reducing see instead of reducing 0.30 risk on the entire portfolio you reduce entire risk on this much of the portfolio only 1.305 and this will give you again the same answer in the numerator what are you doing you are reducing the risk on the entire portfolio okay to the extent of 0.30 but in this case you are reducing the entire risk on this much of the portfolio not the entire portfolio so here the portfolio is total like portfolio is complete the value of portfolio has not been reduced in this case the beta has not been reduced the portfolio value has been reduced so you reduce the first figure or second figure the answer will still be same i will give you what exactly they have done you multiply 2 with 4 that will give you 8 or you multiply like 
फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू देन देन ऑल्सो इट विल गिव यू एट सो हियर यू हैव रेड्यूस्ड दिस वैल्यू हियर यू हैव रेड्यूस्ड दिस वैल्यू वन एंड द सेम थिंग सो अल्टीमेटली द आंसर इज कमिंग राइट बट आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट हैज टू बी लर्न through one process only so just follow this one because we have been following this in the previous question institute was also following this in the previous question i don't know why they are just confusing the students by taking such time such type of activities by doing such type of activities okay so what we can do is instead of swapping 1.304 swapping means selling risk uh, selling the securities and investing in the risk free securities instead of doing that we can also reduce the beta to 0.85 by selling going short on five stock futures okay so how to increase the beta now in this till now we have discussed about how to reduce the beta but how to increase the beta now it's very simple sir again go with the same formula and we will learn more about it now have a look second part is to increase the beta first through risk free securities we will use the same formula just focus that portfolio beta is nothing but weighted average which is nothing but weight of old portfolio beta of old portfolio weight of risk free security beta of risk free security okay now we need the portfolio beta to be 1.45 we want to increase the beta and the weight of old portfolio beta of old portfolio is 1.15 and this entire figure will be zero because the beta of risk free security the risk of risk free security is zero from this you will get the value 1.45 1.45 divided by 1.15, so that's 1.2609. What is this? This is the weight of old portfolio in the new portfolio. In the new portfolio. Now, what is going to happen? Value of new portfolio will remain same because we are not adding funds. okay weight of old portfolio so what will be the value of old portfolio 5 multiplied by 1.2609 that means 6.3045 sir you said that we are not going to add more funds to the portfolio obviously we are not going to add more funds to the portfolio but how to make the old portfolio from 5 to 6.3045 you have to sell 1.3045 worth of securities now the portfolio will look like this equity risk free security equity will be 6.3045 and the risk free securities will be minus 1.3045 see if you want to increase the risk you will have to go short on the risk free securities and the total will always remain same so we have not changed the total value of the portfolio we are just changing the composition first we borrowed or we can say we sold risk free securities worth 1.3045 so we received this much of the amount and the same is invested in the equity to increase the beta now what will happen the weight of this will become 1. 2609 the weight of risk free security will be minus 0.2609 this is the weight let's take the beta beta is very simple sir beta is 1.15 in this case in this case it's zero when you multiply the weight with the beta this will come to 1.45 and this is zero the portfolio beta will be 1.45 the problem is solved the problem is solved So in this question, you have to sell the risk-free securities worth one point three zero four five crore and invest the same in the equity to keep the portfolio value as five crore and still increasing the beta. Okay, increasing the risk. See, selling short risk-free securities of one point three zero crore. borrowing 1.30 crore at and then using the proceeds to buy 1.30 crores of additional shares this will increase the risk see you had already 5 crore rupees in the equity and you had a beta of 1.15 if you if you will increase the amount of equity 
the portfolio uh, value the beta will also get increased automatically okay so this is how you have to go with the risk free securities i think this selling the risk free or going short on the risk free securities was also discussed in the portfolio management chapter now we are going to focus on how to increase the beta using futures please pay a careful attention to this if you have a long position in portfolio <coughs> with a positive beta and your purpose was to reduce the risk or hedge what you used to do is you were use you were like go short on the futures right if you are long in the spot market with a positive beta in order to hedge you will go short on futures but if you have to increase the risk what you will going what you what exactly you are going to do you will go the same position you will take the same position long 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 if it is long positive beta and the purpose is to increase the risk i don't think so anyone will do that but still you will again go long on the futures very simple i will tell you how to do that and how to increase it first of all we are going to use the same formula same formula same answer everything will be same the only thing that will change is the position see in this case also 4.74 and 5 contracts are coming to the final answer right but the previous one also previous one was also giving the same result 4.76 or 5 contracts the only difference is in this part we will be buying the futures and that will make all the difference i will show you the same here let's say you have made a portfolio this is equity this is futures index futures okay you have 5 crore worth of equity and you have a long position in this and what you did in this part is you took how much 4.7 for theoretical purpose we will take this much only 4.746 or to be more specific i will go 5 into 0.30 divided by 31.3150 so that's 4.762 in this is the proper answer 4.762 okay so let's say if i go short on 4.762 contracts so 0.3150 crore is the contract value one contract value i will show you 21000 into 150 is the contract value and when i divide it by 1 crore it will be converted into crores so that is that's 0.3150 into 4.762 contracts i have taken 4.762 into 0.3150 that means 1.5 crore worth of futures i will go long if you have to reduce the risk of equity take opposite position if the beta is positive but if you want to increase the risk take the same position and let's now understand if the market goes down by 10% the beta of equity is 1.15 beta of equity is 1.15 the equity market will go down by 11.5% okay now let's find out the loss because we have a long position and the market is going down we have a long position and the market is going down that means there will be a loss how much 5 into 11.5% 5 into 11.5% that's 0.575 and 1.5 into 10% that's 0.15 so you can see the total loss is 0.725 okay this is the loss if the market goes down by 10% if the same percentages are going up if the market is going up by 10% the stock will go up by 11.5% and you will have a profit of 0.725 crore so in both the cases 
the either you will increase your profit or either you will increase your loss the amount will be same 0.725 and if you do the calculation just find out that 0.725 whether it will be your loss or profit on your original portfolio value of 5 crore if you do the calculation it comes to 0.145 that is the loss is 14.5% loss is 14.5% when the market is going down by 10% you can clearly see that the new beta is 14.5% divided by 10 1.45 that's your purpose is achieved you wanted to increase the beta this is how the beta has been increased when the market is going down by 10% the total loss is going like the loss to you is 14.50% what is the beta when the market is changing by 10% your portfolio value and the total value is changing by 14.5% what is the beta 1.45 14.5 divided by 10 why you did increase your beta increasing the risk means increasing the chances of profit and increasing the chances of loss as well that is what increasing the risk means and increasing the beta means taking the same position in we, in order to hedge we used to go opposite in order to not hedge and instead increase the beta we will go same position okay let's move ahead to the next question now so let's have a look on this question now details about portfolio of shares of an investor is as follows you can see that there are three shares a b c number of shares in lakhs are given to you so this is a portfolio that has been uh, created by an investor price of the share and the beta is given to you the very first question is the portfolio beta which is nothing but what you have to do is you have to multiply the shares with the price you will get the values and based on the total value you can calculate the weight multiply the weight with the beta and you can get the portfolio beta this has been done now n number of times so we are not going much into that we will just get to know about the portfolio beta which is 1.30 so we are already at this point this is very easy calculation now the focus should be on learning the investor thinks that the risk of the portfolio which is 1.30 is extremely high and wants to reduce the portfolio beta to 0.91 that means he wants to hedge it's not a complete hedging if it would have been a complete hedging the new beta would have been zero but now we want to just reduce the beta to 0.91 and he is considering two below mentioned alternatives as we have seen in the previous question either we can dispose of a part of the existing portfolio and acquire the risk free securities with that for that much of the amount that means the total value of the portfolio is not going to change if we want to add risk free securities obviously the beta is going to get reduced because the risk free securities beta is zero but we will have to sell off some of the securities from a b and c take appropriate position this is the second option that you have take appropriate position on nifty futures let me just tell you you want to reduce the risk beta is positive you have a long position in the market simply the position in the nifty futures will be short to reduce the risk which are currently traded at 8125 this is the actual market price of the futures and each nifty worth point is worth 200 that is the lot size it's written in rupees but it is the lot size now okay so the very first part is the portfolio beta that you can calculate easily 1.30 then the second part is just focus on the risk free securities how you can bring in the risk free securities it's very simple sir you have to do the same calculation of the portfolio beta as weighted average question number 37 have a look portfolio beta is equal to weight of old portfolio beta of old portfolio plus weight of risk free security and beta of risk free security which will become zero now the new portfolio beta that we need is 0.91 weight of old portfolio will be w0 and the beta of old portfolio is 1.30 this entire figure will become zero why this will become zero because the beta of the risk free security is zero when you multiply it with weight it will be zero so with the help of this you can calculate the old portfolio beta or 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 yeah old portfolio weight in the new portfolio so that will be 0.91 divided by 1.30 that's 0.70 <coughs> excuse me 
एक्सक्यूज मी वॉट डज दॅट मीन दॅट द रिस्क फ्री सिक्युरिटी वेट ऑफ द रिस्क फ्री सिक्युरिटी इन द पोर्टफोलिओ शुड बी थर्टी पर्सेंट टोटल वॅल्यू ऑफ द पोर्टफोलिओ इज वी कॅन गेट इट फ्रॉम द टेबल इन द नेक्स्ट कॉलम फाईव्ह थाउजंड लॅक्स इज द टोटल वॅल्यू सो इफ द टोटल वॅल्यू इज फाईव्ह थाउजंड वॉट यू कॅन डू इज यू विल गेट टू नो दॅट द रिस्क फ्री सिक्युरिटी दॅट यू हॅव टू ब्रिंग इन इन ब्रिंग इन इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड लॅक्स फाईव्ह थाउजंड इंटू पॉईंट थ्री झिरो थ्री झिरो सो हाऊ यू आर गोईंग टू रिड्यूस द बीटा टू पॉईंट नाईन झिरो इट्स व्हेरी सिम्पल सर सेल शेअर्स वर्थ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड अँड बाय रिस्क फ्री सिक्युरिटी वर्थ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सो दिस इज हाऊ यू आर गोईंग टू ब्रिंग द बीटा टू झिरो पॉईंट नाईन वन ब्रिंग द बीटा फ्रॉम वन पॉईंट थ्री टू पॉईंट नाईन वन दिस विल रिड्यूस द बीटा यू कॅन कॅल्क्युलेट द पोर्टफोलिओ वॅल्यू अगेन नाव नाव फोकस ऑन द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इट सेज दॅट हाऊ मेनी नंबर ऑफ शेअर्स ऑफ इच कंपनी विल बी डिस्पोज ऑफ इन द सेकंड पार्ट इट्स व्हेरी क्लिअर दॅट यू विल हॅव टू डिस्पोज ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड लॅक्स ऑफ शेअर्स अँड बाय रिस्क फ्री सिक्युरिटी वर्थ द सेम but we have no idea that 1500 lakhs of shares will be the selling amount this 1500 lakhs how many shares of each particular security will constitute in this 1500 lakhs so we have to calculate that thing how many shares of a b and c will be sold in the market so that our purpose of reducing the beta to 0.91 and in including the risk free security gets solved and the question, the answer will be very simple sir you have to think it from this angle your purpose is to bring the the ultimate purpose is to bring the beta of the portfolio to 0.91 and for that purpose the weight of the old portfolio should remain 70% after selling of this 1500 secure 1500 worth of shares so it should remain 70% first of all the beta should also remain 1.30 that means you don't want to change the beta if you don't want to change the beta and keep the weight to 70% you need to make sure that equal equal percentage or we can say the shares that you will be selling from each security will be sold in the should be sold in the same percentage as they are right now in the portfolio see i will show you right now the weight of a is 30% 60% and 10% in the portfolio so what you have to do is in order to keep this beta same if 1.3 remains in this formula then we can easily calculate 0.91 so it should be same if 1.3 has to be constant we have to make sure that the weights are also constant and in order to make the weights constant and also reducing the number of share we need to make sure that it is reduced in the same proportion 30 60 and 10 so this will become the weights of 1500 lakhs so you take 30% of 1500 lakh that means 450 lakhs of shares should be sold for a limited then 60% of 1500 that means 900 lakhs worth of shares should be sold of b limited and 150 lakhs worth of shares should be sold for c limited because if you sell the share in this proportion the proportion left will again be same i will just show you let's say 5 5 and 5 is given to you the total is 15 okay one more let's say take we take four shares and the total is 20 right now the weight of each share in the portfolio is 25% right and we want to sell four shares in total so the question is how many shares of each security will be sold so that the weights will remain constant in order to make sure that the weights after selling the shares remains same we need to make sure that the securities that we are selling should also be in the same proportion so 
in total you have to sell four shares you sell it in the same proportion four into point two five that means sell one share one share one share one share the remaining shares will be four 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 and still the weights will be same the beta is same the portfolio beta will also be same so all in all your purpose is to sell 1500 lakhs of shares you should sell it in the current current weight of those shares in the portfolio that is 30 60 and 10 now understand the logic so the percentage weight at present is 30 60 and 10 you have to sell 1500 lakhs of shares so that comes to 450 lakhs then 1500 lakhs that comes to 900 1500 lakhs that comes to 150 it means that you have to you should sell 450 lakhs worth of a limited shares and the price on that date is 500 rupees so when you divide 450 by 500 you will get the number of share that you are going to sell number of share that you should sell number of share that you should sell so we have the answer with us that this many number of share should be sold if you sell a limited 0.90 lakh shares 1.20 lakhs for b limited and 0.60 lakhs for c limited the weights after selling the shares will still remain same and the beta will remain 1.30 and the new portfolio beta will also remain 0.91 if the weights are same beta is same 1.30 will be same and our purpose will get achieved so this was all about the question when you had to bring in risk-free securities so the first two part is dedicated to the risk free securities but the third part fourth part is different the number of nifty contracts to be bought or sold first of all you will be selling it why you have a long position in the portfolio the beta is 1.30 positive you want to reduce the risk then you will have to sell nifty contracts what if you have to increase the risk what if you have to increase the risk in that case you will be taking the long position in nifty contracts and the number of contracts the calculation of number or number of contracts is very easy n is equal to just a second n is equal to the portfolio value 5000 crore or oh sorry 5000 lakhs into the risk that you have to reduce you have to bring it from 1.30 to 0.91 this will give you the risk to be reduced old beta minus new beta divided by uh, 8125 into 200 but I will write it in terms of lakhs this is total I will just divide it by 1 lakh so that I get uh, I convert the entire amount into lakhs so that's 1950 divided by 16.25 let me just check once again so 120 contracts has to be sold in the market for nifty futures in order to get complete hedging for 0.91 huh? complete hedging not not the complete hedging just to reduce the beta to 0.91 <sighs> 120 contracts are you okay with this <laughs> Now the last part is very interesting. Let's have a discussion on that. The value of the portfolio beta for 2% rise in Nifty. If the Nifty goes up by 2%, what will be the new portfolio beta? Now understand it carefully. I will just go with the timeline. This is I think the best idea. <laughs> right now at time T0 and time T something, portfolio value is 5000 lakhs and the futures that you have futures position that you have considered is 5000 into 1.30 minus 0 0.91 into 5000 is 1950 so you have gone short this is long am i right for bringing the beta of this portfolio from 1.30 to 0.91 you went short on the futures contract worth 1950 lakhs okay now what happened is that over a period the market went up by two percent so you have already sold the futures 
and it's very bad for you if the market is going up because you will gain only when the market will go down after selling at a particular price you will be buying it at a later price and it should be lower to make sure that you gain but right now it is going up and you will end up losing money in this case so 1950 into 2 percent 1950 plus 2 percent that means the entire value of the portfolio uh, nifty futures will go to 1989 where you will be going long to settle the futures contract so just imagine you sold at 1950 you are buying it back at 1989 the settlement amount will be minus 39 that means you will have a loss of 39 lakhs in order to settle the futures contract but at the same time the portfolio beta was 1.3 the portfolio will go up by 2 into 1.3% so it will go up by 2.6% am i right it will go up by 2.6% and that's a good sign 5000 into 2.6% 5000 plus 2.6% that's 5130 that's a gain of 130 lakhs so that's a profit of 130 lakhs and the total loss in this case is 39 lakhs the net loss <coughs> the net loss is 91 lakhs sorry the net profit is 91 lakhs can i say that the net profit is 91 lakhs now what is the beta in this case the beta is very simple sir you have closed your position this position is now closed this position is now closed <coughs> and the only position open is this one you have not sold it yet this is just the profit that you have you are showing the 5 lakhs worth of long position is having a profit of 91 lakhs so therefore change in portfolio is equal to 91 divided by 5000 that's 1.82% that's 1.82% and at the same time change in market was 2% can we calculate beta yes sir 1.82 divided by 2 that's 0.91 that is what the question was asking you and it's very simple <clears throat> the question is simply saying that if the market is going up by 2% then prove that the beta has been reduced to 0.91 and this is how we can prove it it's simple you will go short you will just settle this futures contract with a loss of 39 lakhs there is a gain of 130 lakhs in the portfolio value the total gain is 91 lakhs this 91 lakhs on 5000 lakh becomes 1.82% and that too in a in this period the change in the the net change in the portfolio this is the gross change in the portfolio but because of this we have a loss in this case so net change in the portfolio is 91 lakhs 91 lakhs when the market is going up by 2% and let me tell you one thing do you remember this if the change in market is 2% and the uh, let's take it simply change in market is 10% and if the portfolio is portfolio beta is 1.5 then can i say the change in portfolio is 15% right this is how the concept of beta is used so with the help of this if both the figures are given can we calculate the beta 15 is given 10 is given can we calculate the beta yes sir it's very simple 15 by 10 that means change in portfolio divided by change in market in our case the change in portfolio is 1.82 and the change in market is 2% the new beta is 0.91 hence proved that by taking a short position of 120 contracts in the futures we can reduce the risk to 0.91 0.91 beta are you getting it so this is what is done in the last part of this question you just need to focus once again see the current value of the portfolio was 5000 lakhs it went up 5000 into 2.6% and how did you calculate 2.6 1.3 into 2 percent, so it went up to 5130. This is the position of the spot market. Then what happened in the futures market is you had you had a short position of 1950, but you had to take a long position to settle the futures, and that's why there is a loss of 39 lakhs. If you do the net of this, 
फाइव वन थ्री जीरो माइनस थर्टी नाइन द नेट प्रॉफिट द नेट पोर्टफोलियो वैल्यू इज फाइव जीरो नाइन वन लैक्स इन द बिगिनिंग यू हैड फाइव थाउजेंड लैक्स नाउ यू हैव फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन्टी वन लैक्स यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन्टी वन माइनस फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव थाउजेंड इज नथिंग बट वन पॉइंट एट टू परसेंट इंक्रीज इन द पोर्टफोलियो वैल्यू वेन द मार्केट इज इंक्रीजिंग बाई टू परसेंट सो वन द मार्केट इज इंक्रीजिंग बाई टू परसेंट सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस दैट द न्यू बीटा इज पॉइंट नाइन वन दैट्स इट दस ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अचीव द पर्पज इज अचीव दैट वी हैड टू मेक श्योर दैट द बीटा इज रिड्यूज इट इज रिड्यूज सिंपल नाउ इफ यू विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट इज एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर होमवर्क बट वी विल स्टिल हैव अ लुक थ्री शेयर्स आर गिवन नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स in lakhs price per share then you will multiply it to get the values then based on the value you will come to the weight then you will multiply it with the beta and then do the total for the portfolio beta but the wording here is systematic risk existing systematic risk the only thing that they want to want you to calculate in this is the portfolio beta calculate existing systematic risk okay CEO is of the opinion that the portfolio is carrying extremely high risk and we have to give a comment on that interpret the opinion of the CEO whether it is correct or not it's obviously correct because the risk is 1.40 since the uh, we can say that the apprehension of the CEO is correct as the current portfolio is riskier than the market because the market beta is 1 and the portfolio beta is 1.4 so yes it's correct okay then we have been given with the uh, target that we have to reduce the systematic risk to 0.95 that is the beta Treasury manager is of the opinion that we can dispose of and include risk-free securities. Also, take appropriate action in the Nifty futures. Currently trading at eight two five zero. It the lot size is two hundred and ten. The th third and the fourth part is based on the risk-free securities. So first, we are going to calculate, advise the value of the risk-free securities to be acquired. It was fifteen hundred lakh in the previous question, and then we actually disposed of in the same proportion as they are right now, uh, and found out. Uh, then we found the number of the Uh, we calculated the number of shares of each securities to be sold then the last two parts are exactly same as the previous question that first we will have to find out the number of contracts we have to sell or buy obviously we have to reduce the beta we will be selling the nifty futures in this case and then we have to again make sure that by using this calculate the new systematic risk it is nothing but the 0.91 but we will have to show the presentation that if the nifty futures is rising by 2% then we will have some loss in the future some profit in the portfolio market and then net will be 0.91 effect so exactly it is same the most important part of this question is make the calculation in lakhs only do not write 5 lakh rupees in total and two decimal points only okay so all the calculations are same i am just shifting myself to question number 39 now this is related to the commodity derivatives a company is long on 10 metric tons of copper have a look long means they have purchased 10000 kg metric ton means 1000 kg so 10 metric ton means 10000 kg of copper at a rate of 474 per kg So ten thousand into four seventy four is like forty seven lakh forty thousand rupees worth of copper is lying in your go down, right in the spot market, and you wants to intend and intends to remain so. That means remain long. You don't want to sell the copper for the next quarter. So in the coming three months, you don't want to sell the copper. Let's come with this question number thirty nine. Okay, so you have a spot position of forty seven lakh forty thousand. Okay, for the next quarter you don't want to sell this copper, but you are afraid that the four seventy four per kg of the price can go down to like two seventy four, three seventy four, or something. So that risk is there. that the market value of this 447 lakh 40000 of the copper lying in the go down can come down to uh, some great value like some bad value we can say in 3 months and we want to ensure that we hedge this using futures hedging means what exactly if there is a loss if i will have to face a loss in the spot market there should be a profit in the futures market so that i get compensated for the loss and the risk is said to be hedged so what we, what can we do in this case what are, what are the details given to us 
द स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ द चेंजेस ऑफ इट्स स्पॉट एंड फ्यूचर प्राइसेस आर फोर परसेंट एंड सिक्स परसेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली सो आई कैन से स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ चेंजेस ऑफ द स्पॉट प्राइसेस इज फोर परसेंट स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ चेंजेस इन द फ्यूचर्स प्राइसेस इज फाइव परसेंट हैविंग अ को रिलेशन कोफिशियंट ऑफ पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो दिस इज समथिंग न्यू दैट दे हैव गिवन ओके वॉट इज इट्स हैज रेशो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू when i have a beta of 1.50 and i have to take it to 0.75 means i have to i have to hedge my portfolio to the extent of 50% because i am reducing the beta to the extent of 50% that 50% is nothing but the hedge ratio hedge ratio means the risk to be reduced so this is nothing new this is nothing new so what should be the hedge ratio if we have to completely hedge the portfolio then the risk to be reduced becomes 1.5 which is nothing but the beta so risk to be reduced becomes the beta and the beta also becomes the hedge ratio and can we calculate beta yes sir we can calculate the beta using correlation analysis which we have learned it is nothing but beta is equal to correlation coefficient between the two market divide multiplied by the standard deviation of one market divided by the standard deviation of the market futures the formula is simple sir till now in all the questions in the derivatives the beta was either given to you or it was asked to calculate using the weighted average method but in this question itself beta is not given to you and they have asked you to use the correlation analysis in order to calculate the beta so this is the formula for beta itself and beta has become the hedge ratio understand the fact hedge ratio hedge ratio is nothing but the risk that we want to reduce in this question we want to reduce entire risk that means the risk to be reduced becomes the beta and beta becomes the hedge ratio and hedge ratio is nothing but the beta so this is what the formula of the hedge ratio is a lot of people write down that the hedge ratio formula of the derivative is this and you have to learn it you don't have to learn it this is nothing but the beta's formula you need to understand it what exactly we are doing so if you use this formula of correlation analysis the beta comes to 0.5 and that is what you have to reduce you have to bring the point 0.5 to 0 you have to bring the entire beta to 0 and that's why you will be multiplying it with the 50% entire 0.5 the number of contract to short it's very simple sir now 47 lakh 40000 multiplied by 0.5 is what you have to take the position in the futures market that's 23 lakh 70000 it's as simple as it is point This multiplied by point five is the position in this market, twenty three lakh seventy thousand, and that too a short position. Why short? Because you have a long position in the spot market. What what does that mean? See, I will show you. If this market goes down by ten percent, this will go down by five percent. Ten into point five, the beta, five percent. Although the asset under both is copper here you have purchased copper here you have sold copper futures sold copper futures in the derivatives market so if it goes down by 10% you will have a profit of 237000 because you were short on 237000 now the market is going down which is a good news to you so 237000 of the profit and here you have a long position and 5% on 47 lakh 40000 is the loss of 2 lakh 37000 completely hedged do you understand the meaning so you understand the entire answer now hedge ratio is nothing but the beta beta is nothing but uh, your uh, correlation analysis you have to calculate it from the correlation analysis and hedge ratio of 0.50 it means that you have to reduce the entire beta completely hedging so you multiply the entire amount by this this 5000 okay let me just come to the figures 5000 is nothing but you had 10 contracts right you had a 10 metric ton of the copper 10 into 0.5 means 5 metric ton of the copper futures are required to be taken in the futures market so 5 multiplied by 1000 into 474 
you do it anyway that the answer should be half of the what half of what you have in the spot market 23 lakh 70000 because half why half the beta is 50.50 okay let's come to the same question now once again a company is long on 10 metric ton of the copper at 534 per kg and intends to remain so for the ensuing quarter the variance of change in its spot prices and the futures prices are 16 and 136% now they have not given you the standard deviation see what the change is in this question it's the variance which is uh, 16% and 36% okay the uh, the correlation coefficient is 0.75 the contract size is 1000 kgs okay once again calculate the optimal hedge ratio for perfect hedging perfect means the beta to be zero the new beta of the portfolio should be zero advise the position to be taken in the futures market it's very simple sir if the portfolio beta is positive you have a long position in the spot market take a short position in the futures market opposite determine the number and the amount of the copper futures to be perfectly hedged it's very simple 53 lakhs 40000 is your current portfolio value in the spot market multiplied by the optimal hedge ratio if it comes to 0.5 then half of that so exactly what is the optimal hedge ratio let's go and find out i told you one thing that they have given you the variance so that's why what you have to calculate is the first you have to calculate the standard deviation 16% square root is 4 36% square root is 6 and the hedge ratio is again 0.5 your current position is 53 lakhs instead of all this shit you can just make sure you do it like this number of contract is nothing but uh, 534 per kg multiplied by 1000 that means the value of 1 metric ton multiplied by 10 the value of 10 metric tons multiplied by the risk you want to reduce that is 0.5 divided by 1000 1000 is the lot size in the copper future or first of all you can just calculate the amount 534 into 10 into 1000 into 0.5 that's 26 lakh 70000 is the same as the previous question the only difference is instead of standard deviation they have given you the variance so one more step has been added in the calculation now let's come to question number 41 A rice trader has planned to sell twenty-two thousand kgs of rice after three months from now. It is the same question as we have already discussed. It's my mistake that uh, I have placed it at a wrong wrong place. Like the arrangement is not proper. I will just show you that question, the rice question. See, question number twenty-six was also of the rice trader. Twenty-two thousand kgs, sixty rupees per kg. So. we have a new question exactly similar to this question 26 next time in the new compiler i am going to just shift it and we want to sell it there are some changes in the prices only let's take it once again the current spot price is 60 rupees per kg question number 40 spot price of that is 60 rupees per kg okay the rice that we want to sell and the 3 months future is trading at 59 rupees per kg 59 rupees futures 3 months we want to sell it after 3 months but we are afraid of the prices to be like to go down to some 56 or something so it's better to go with the futures market now and we have a uh expected to fall the price is expected to fall to 56 rupees per kg after 3 months so this is our expected price and it's better to sell it at 59 in the futures market today itself than to wait for 3 months and sell it at 57 in the 56 in the spot market so the first action required you want to hedge yourself interpret the position of the trader in the cash market it has a long position why long position see you are planning to sell 20000 kgs of rice so right now your position is a long position only when you buy it then can you then you can sell it because you are not a farmer in this question you are a trader in this question so if you are planning to sell after 
थ्री मंथ्स यू विल हैव टू फर्स्ट बाय सो द पोजिशन ऑफ द ट्रेडर इन द कैश मार्केट इज लॉन्ग एडवाइज द ट्रेडर ऑफ द पोजिशन ही शुड टेक इन द फ्यूचर्स मार्केट टू मिटिगेट रिस्क शॉर्ट पोजिशन If we have a long position in the spot market, take a short position in the futures market so that a profit in one market gets compensated with the loss in the another market. So the answer to the second part will be short, and you will have to explain that. Demonstrate effective realized price of for its sale. If he decides to make use of the futures market, that means he is fixing the price of fifty nine, and after three months the spot price turns out to be fifty seven in reality, not this, and the futures price turns out to be fifty. Eight per kg. Now, what will happen if you do the transactions like this? After th if you if you go short at this rate, what will happen? You will have to go long at whatever the rates in the futures market. So there will be one rupees of the profit in the futures market because you sold at fifty nine, you are buying it back at fifty eight, and the rice will actually be sold in the spot spot market only it will always be sold in the spot market only so you will be receiving 57 rupees per kg so effective price for you is 58 now it's the same question man exact same question you don't have to do any kind of a calculation 22000 12 lakh and so and so you you can just play on the prices and you will get 58 rupees so if you can get the 58 rupees easily why to just uh, increase your calculation so the first answer was long position the second answer is short position and the third answer is 58 okay figures are also same in question 41 now come to question 42 42 and 43 is going to be an interesting one yeah 42 43 44 where is 43 yeah okay So forty two and forty three are almost similar to each other, but there is one mistake in forty four that I will just uh, explain. But let's come to question number forty two first. Okay, so let's read this one. Sham buys ten thousand shares of X Limited at rupees twenty five per share and obtains a complete hedge of shorting four hundred Nifty at eleven hundred each. It's better to create or draw it on. Question number forty, which one? Forty two, na? No? See, let's draw it on the timeline. This is a spot market in which he has purchased ten thousand shares of rupees twenty five each. Okay, that comes to two lakh fifty thousand. and he has a long position in that he has taken a short position in futures and that too at a rate of shorting see shorting 400 nifty is at 1100 each so 400 into 1100 4 lakh 40000 short see can you calculate the beta because the question is question has clearly mentioned that it is a complete hedging that means we might have multiplied by the complete beta to which amount to 250000 so 250000 multiplied by the beta should be this value and if this value is given the spot value is given can you can you calculate the beta of x limited x limited or what yeah yes sir we can easily calculate the beta of x limited it should come to around 1.76 if this is a proper transaction but then come to this point he closes out his position at the closing price of the next day when the share of x limited has gone down by 4% the very next day what has happened x limited has gone down by 4% so there will be a loss when you buy something and the price goes down there will be a loss to you okay and the nifty futures has dropped by 2.5% So this is a pretty simple question, two point five percent. So let's find out whether there is a profit or loss. On two lakh fifty thousand, you will be losing ten thousand rupees loss, and on four lakh forty thousand, you will be gaining two point five percent. That's a profit of eleven thousand rupees. Profit. 
it's very simple that if you are if we have already a short position you are expecting the market prices to go down so that you can buy at a lower price and actually the market is going down so you will be gaining this much percentage on your position in the futures that's 11000 rupees of the profit so the net profit is 1000 that's it the question is over what is the overall profit or loss from his set of the transaction 1000 rupees of the gain that's it simple see 2 lakh 50 thousand long position 4 lakh 40 thousand short position in total you have a short position of 1 lakh 90 thousand then cash inflow at closing price you sold all the shares at uh, see they have gone down by 4% so 0.96 of the current price is this much so this is little complicated instead of that you can just uh, uh, go with the go with such kind of a statement so obviously this is not going to be the presentation if you want to present it in the exam in a simpler format i can show you one okay just write down spot market here write down futures market here write the position of the spot market 2 lakh 50 thousand and 4 lakh 40 thousand write down the percentage change and then write down the gain or loss and then do the total of 1000 that's the very like easy to understand and the simple presentation and you will get the full marks for that what is going to happen first you will get the full marks it's simple to understand and it will save time follow that format let's come to question number 43 now this is going to be an interesting and you are going to love this question because there this is little difficult you can say mr careless was employed with abc portfolio consultants mr careless was employed with abc portfolio consultants the work profile of mr careless involves advising the clients about taking a position in the future market to obtain the hedge in the position that they are holding so this is all just the story of what we were actually doing till now actual question starts from this point mr triple z their regular client have a look on some names mr careless is an employee at this abc portfolio and there is one client of the abc portfolio who is mr triple z the regular client has a pur has purchased 1 lakh shares of x incorporation at a price of 22 and sold 50000 shares of a plc at a price of 40 each having beta 2 40 40 each having beta 2 that means the two beta is of uh, a plc there is no beta given for the x incorporation that's all fine mr careless advised mr triple z to take short position in the index futures trading at 1000 dollar each now you you should you should draw it question 43 so this is a spot position of mr triple z x and a so this is x and a incorporation in x incorporation it is 1 lakh into 22000 1 lakh into 22 i think that's 22 lakh long position and in a plc it's 40 dollar into 50000 shares so that's 20 lakhs that's a short position in total you can say we have a long position of 2 lakhs am i right okay sir this has a beta of 2 this has a beta of 2 okay mr careless advised mr triple z to take a short position in the index future trading at 1000 dollar each so mr future in this we have taken a position of 1000 dollar into number of contract one contract is worth 1000 dollar you take the number of contract and you can get the closing value here okay so let's say it is x let's say the number of contracts is x so we will say 1000 x is the total value of short position that we have taken in the futures market in order to get a complete hedge on that okay let's move on now though mr careless noted the name of a plc along with its beta which is 
बीटा वैल्यू ड्यूरिंग डिस्कशन विथ मिस्टर ट्रिपल जेड बट फॉरगॉट टू रिकॉर्ड द बीटा वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इनकॉर्पोरेशन यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट देर इज नो बीटा वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इनकॉर्पोरेशन गिवन ही माइट हैव फॉरगॉट हु द मिस्टर केयरलेस दैट्स वाई द नेम इज मिस्टर केयरलेस ओन ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे मिस्टर ट्रिपल जेड क्लोज आउट हिज पोजिशन मिस्टर ट्रिपल जेड द क्लाइंट क्लोज आउट हिज पोजिशन वेन शेयर प्राइस ऑफ एक्स इनकॉर्पोरेशन ड्रॉप्ड बाय टू परसेंट है लुक it dropped by 2% there will be a loss on this because you have a long position in the long position you gain it when the market prices goes up and you lose it when the market prices goes down second a plc appreciated by 3% again you will lose in this case why because when you are short on a plc you will expect this to fall so that you can gain something but it is rising so again there will be a loss so how much actually you are going to lose on the 22 lakhs of the position see 1 lakh into 22 is 22 lakhs so 22 lakhs into 2% is 44000 so there will be a loss of 44000 for uh, x incorporation and again there will be a loss in this one also aplc because you have a short position so 20 lakhs into 3% is 60000 Okay, so there is a total loss of one lakh four thousand in these two. Now, the third thing that is happening is index future is dropped by one point five percent. Index futures dropped by one point five percent, and that's a good news to you because you have a short position and you were expecting that the uh, future should go down. So there will be a profit to you in this case. How much? One thousand x. X is the number of contracts that you have taken. One thousand X into one point five percent. One thousand into one point five percent. That's fifteen X of the profit. So this is a gain. Can I say that the total gain is nothing but forty four thousand of the loss, sixty thousand of the loss, and fifteen X of the gain. So fifteen X minus one lakh four thousand. is the total profit or loss to you now it is very clear that mr z informed mr careless that he has made a loss of 114500 due to the position taken so this entire transaction is nothing but a loss so instead of writing this i can write down loss of 114000 dollars simple this should be a total of loss of 114500 dollars so can we calculate x with the help of this yes sir we can calculate x with the help of this the number of contracts can be easily found okay therefore number of contracts is nothing but see 15x minus 1 lakh 4000 gain minus loss should be equal to loss so is it should be equal to minus 114500 that means the loss is increasing right the loss is increasing if we transfer this 114000 on the other side what will happen 15x is equal to 114500 divided by sorry plus 114 plus 104500 so that's around negative 10500 and the x will be negative 700 what does that mean you cannot take the negative position you cannot take the negative position so it's absolutely impossible to have a short position in this case the thing that is written in the question that you have taken a short position is wrong you cannot take 700 contract in negative the negative cannot be the answer it should not be the answer at any cost so what's actually is the position it's the opposite of this you have taken minus 700 short position means you have taken a long position of 700 contracts in this it should be a long position only there will be a loss to you in this case and it will match with this figure so that's a total uh let let's just find out in this case negative sign indicates the inflow due to sell or short position just forget about this forget about this 
y is minus 700 see we have reached to this point the total of this and this and this is something which is written wrong it should be long position of 700 contracts <coughs> therefore short position of minus 700 contracts is nothing but long position of 700 contracts first of all see understand the fact if there are 10 packets of biscuit you are either going to buy 10 packets or sell 10 packets we never say that we have sold minus 10 packets no we have sold minus 10 packet is never an answer in this world so what we have to do is if short figure is given in negative we will have to take the opposite position and we, and we will assume that it's not possible to have 1,14,500 of the loss in this scenario with short position in the futures it's not at all possible it has to be a long position in this case and only then the loss will be 1,14,500 and you can calculate it take the long position 700 contracts means 700 into 1000 is 7 lakh rupees 7 lakh rupees into 1.5 percent will go to 10,500 of the loss and that will match with 114,500 so trust me this is something wrong given in the question that we have taken a short position if even if the question is wrong the answer should be short is equal to minus 700 means long position of 700 contracts so that is what you have to assume this is where you have to make corrections okay then this is the first question I think that they have asked. Let's just finish the question. Mr. Triple Z informed that the loss is 1,14,500 due to the position taken. Since the record of Mr. Careless was incomplete, he approached you to help him to find the number of contracts of future contract Mr. Ad Triple Z advised to go short. It's not short, sir. It should be long to obtain a complete hedging and the beta value of X incorporation. Now you have to calculate the beta value of X incorporation as well. You can clearly see that this is missing. This this particular area is missing. And can you calculate that thing? Yes, sir, we can calculate. We have a 7 lakh rupees of the position in the futures contract. Just understand 7 lakh position in the futures contract. How do we come to this position if we want to complete hedging? It's very simple, sir. We multiply the position with the beta. We multiply the position with the beta and then this position is arrived for a complete hedging. Okay. So, the number of contracts, second part, should be equal to position to be hedged or we can say value to be hedged multiplied by risk to be reduced divided by lot size the answer is negative 700 my friend okay and value to be hedged x incorporation consists of 20 lakh sorry 22 lakhs value multiplied by let's say y is the beta of x that is what the risk to be reduced is the entire risk entire beta complete hedging so that's why we will multiply it with y then minus because we have a short position now 20 lakh multiplied by 2 20 lakh multiplied by 2 what is 2 so 20 lakh is the position in a incorporation and the beta of that is 2 so we have to reduce this much value on uh, and this much risk on this much value and this much risk on this much value so the net amount will be this is long this is short so the net amount will be divided by 1000 have a look we can solve it now so it's minus 7 lakh on this side when you bring this 1000 on the other side and it will be 22 lakhs y minus 40 lakhs so if you just transfer 40 lakh to that side it will be 33 lakhs 
is equal to 22 lakhs y and the y will be equal to 1.5 simple the beta of x incorporation is 1.5 you can calculate so this question is actually a reverse calculation till now what used to happen the beta was given to you and you had to calculate the number of contracts and then the loss now the loss is given to you what you are doing is from the loss you are going to the number of contract and from the number of contract you are going to the beta of x incorporation the only correction that is needed in this question is instead of short position we have to take a long position and only then this entire answer is correct otherwise the answer will be wrong the presentation for the first part is little lengthy here in case to arrive at 700 you just imagine you have to do all these things to adjust arrive at 700 or else you can do it this way you can do it this way the number of contracts is this much this much and the position is short and this is arrived at due to this so it is better to understand this way than to do it this way okay this is a little complicated. So do you get that question? The only mistake in that question is taking a short position. Short position in uh, the futures. It's not possible to take the short position and have a loss of 1,14,500. That's what my take is on that. Question number 44 now. Yeah, this is interesting. Mr. X is having a portfolio of shares worth 170 lakhs. Achha, this question is very much similar to okay 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 let's do that let's do that mr x is having a portfolio of shares worth 170 lakhs at a current price of 8 why 8 and a cash of 30 lakhs i don't think so the current price is required let's okay uh, ha, 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 ha. so let's start with this question 44 So we have a spot position, we have a portfolio of shares worth 170 lakhs and the cash position worth 30 lakhs. Okay, so the total position is 200 lakhs. Cool. Now what is going to happen? We have a long position and the beta of the share portfolio is 1.6. The beta of the cash is always zero. Futures. So if you keep it for three months, there is a risk that you might, you might lose something on 170 lakhs. The prices of the shares can go down and you will lose on the shares. And that's why in order to r avoid that risk, you want to hedge it through futures. Okay. So after three months, the price of the shares dropped by 3.2%. Have a look. You have a long position in this case, right? Long position. So after three per, uh, after three months, the share prices dropped by 3.2%. You tell me whether there will be a loss or a profit. Obviously, there will be a loss because you have a long position. You are expecting that the prices should go up so that I can gain something, but it is going down. So on 170, you will be losing 3.2%. That's around 5.44 lakhs of loss. Okay. So that will be the loss on that date. Okay, sir. Another thing is... <laughs> <laughs> let's write it this way 170 minus 3.2 percent so the portfolio value on that date will be 164.56 and that's why the loss will be 5.44 lakhs okay So first of all, you have to calculate the current portfolio beta, which is nothing but weight of equity multiplied by beta of equity plus weight of cash multiplied by beta of cash. Please understand the beta of cash is zero. Cash has no beta. It does not change according to the market. So this entire figure will come to zero and what's left will be this much only. Weight of equity is nothing but 170 lakhs out of 200 lakhs. So 170 divided by 200 is 0 0.85. So 0 0.85 multiplied by 1.60. This is going to be the portfolio beta. Have a look. Beta of the portfolio is equal to weight of equity, beta of equity plus weight of cash, beta of cash. 
पॉइंट एट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो वन पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एंटायरली जीरो एंड वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू पॉइंट एट फाइव कम्स टू वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो द बीटा वैल्यू ऑफ द पोर्टफोलियो विल बी वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क मी द बीटा ऑफ दिस इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स नाउ अगेन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द पोर्टफोलियो बीटा इफ आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स मिस्टर एक्स ऑन द करंट डेट गोज लॉन्ग पोजिशन ऑन टू हंड्रेड लैक्स निफ्टी फ्यूचर्स ओके सी वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज ही इज गोइंग लॉन्ग ऑन द वाई इज गोइंग लॉन्ग ई शुड गो शॉर्ट दैट्स ओके इफ ही इज गोइंग लॉन्ग ऑन द निफ्टी फ्यूचर्स वॉट विल हैपन After थ्री months, question is clearly asking you the portfolio beta after थ्री months. Portfolio beta after थ्री months. So they are asking you this figure after थ्री months. And I think this figure depends upon the change exactly. For that purpose, you will have to find out how much is the change in the Nifty futures. And it's very easy to calculate. See, the share has a beta of one point six, and the market is going down by three point two percent. Sorry, the share market is going down by three point two percent. Can you tell me how much is the exact market going down? Three point two percent divided by one point six will give you the beta of see market's beta is one point. Market's beta is always one. So, if three point two percent is the change for one point six of the beta, how much will be the change for one? right and if this much is the change for 1 how much will be the change for 1.36 you can calculate it here and then you can settle everything and find out a new portfolio beta so we will go step by step first of all see how much how i am going to link i am going to link this beta to the change in the share okay this will result in the portfolio beta i will just remove this So let's find out this value first. If the equity is changing by three point two percent and the equity beta is one point six, what will be the change in the market? Let's find out. Change in the market into beta is equal to change in equity. This is what we have been doing. If the market is changing by ten percent and the beta is one point five, we say that fifteen percent should be the change in the equity. Now tell me one thing. If the change in equity is given as three point two percent and the beta is also given as one point six, can we calculate the market? Can we calculate the change in the market? Yes, sir, we can do it. Three point two percent divided by one point six. So the change in market will be two percent. Am I right? Three point two divided by one point six. So the change in the market comes to two percent, and that is going down. Why? Because the beta is positive. beta is positive that means the direction will be same so if the share prices are going down the market will also go down if the market is going down just have a look we have a long position in the futures and there will be a loss of 4 lakh rupees in this case there will be a loss of 4 lakh rupees in this case we will have to settle this transaction with 4 lakh rupees of the settlement cash price this is a loss How are you going to pay this loss? This loss will be paid from thirty lakh rupees of the cash that you have. You have to close this position, right? You have to settle this position with a loss of four lakh rupees, two hundred into two percent. You will be paying four lakh rupees. This is not a cash outflow inflow. This is not a cash outflow inflow in the futures. In the futures, what is exactly is the cash outflow inflow, which is the loss, the settlement. So this four lakh will be paid out of thirty lakhs, and understand the cash balance at the end will be. Twenty six lakhs, so it will get reduced by four lakhs. You will take out the cash of four lakh rupees from this market and pay it here, so that you can close the position in the Nifty. Okay, now you can clearly see that the portfolio value has come down to one ninety point five six, which is five point four four. Plus four, that's nine point four four. That's nine point four four rupees of 
the loss you can easily calculate the change in the portfolio now what is the change in the portfolio 9.44 lakhs of the loss divided by 200 that's 4.72 percent have a look that's 4.72 percent so if the market is changing by 2 percent portfolio is changing by 4.72 percent can you calculate the new portfolio beta at this point yes sir again have a look change in market into portfolio beta is equal to change in portfolio now this is this is what we have been doing in this case if the market is changing by 2% we don't know the portfolio beta and if the portfolio is changing by 4.72% 4.72 right can we calculate the new portfolio beta yes sir 4.72 divided by 2 that comes to 2.36 so this is going to be our new beta new beta 2.36 actually you have increased your beta earlier the portfolio beta was 1.36 now you have increased your beta by exactly one why because you have taken a long position in the nifty futures long position in the nifty futures you you should not have done that and i will tell you how you can uh, 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 yes in, in another way like we have different ways of calculating the same thing but because this is something confusing to us let's do it uh, in this way to make it very clear to you let's take only portfolio and futures nifty futures okay you have two you had 200 lakhs of long position in this case you and you had 200 lakhs of long position in this case one thing that we found uh, that, that we calculated was 2% is the fall in the nifty futures that means there will be a loss there will be a loss in the nifty futures worth 4 lakh rupees do you agree with that and there is a loss in the portfolio also of 5.44 lakh rupees 5.44 because the equity market is going down by 3.2% so 5.44 will be the loss in the equity and the total loss comes to 9.44 this position is settled because we have considered the loss of 4 lakhs if you calculate this 9.44 on 2 la 200 lakhs just do it 9.44 on 200 lakhs it comes to 4.72 percent and then you have to find out if the market is going down by 2 percent and the portfolio is gone down by 4.72 percent can we calculate the beta yes sir that is 2.36 that is this is the new beta this is the new beta so these are the ways that you can calculate so what we did is actually the very first step was we took the beta of the equity and the change of the equity to find out what is the change in the market and accordingly we applied this change in the nifty futures to find out that we have a loss of 4 lakh rupees which is being paid by cash account so we transferred this loss to this the, this place so that this place gets zeroed so just ignore this place now we have a 4 lakh rupees of the loss in the cash position and 5.44 lakhs of the loss in the shares position in total out of 200 lakhs we have left with we are left with 190.56 that means this much is the loss we calculated 9.44 divided by 200 means the change in the portfolio value is 4.72 percent and that too loss means going down so in the same phase in the same period market go market went down by two percent portfolio went down by 4.72 percent can we calculate the beta by reverse calculation yes sir two into beta should be 4.72 so 4.72 divided by two will be the beta that is 2.36 so this is something which is little complicated 1.36 and 2.36 see first they calculated the change in the market and with the help of the change in the market they calculated the loss mark to market paid loss in the futures this loss was paid out of the cash balance cash balance after payment of the mark to market that is 26 lakhs okay so the cash balance is ready with us portfolio value is ready with us which is 190.56 170 minus 3.2 percent and 26 lakhs 190.56 
and the total change in the portfolio value is we had 200 lakhs in the beginning now we have 190.56 at the end that means the change is 4.72 when the market is changing by 0 0.02 so the formula becomes like this change in portfolio divided by change in market and it's very simple sir change in market into beta divided is equal to change in portfolio so now if any two figures are given to you you can easily calculate the re uh, rest of the figures this is given this is given you calculated this easily right so question number 44 was uh, mostly on that and with this i think we are going to finish the futures transaction from this question the options contract will start which will take it uh, after some time because we have to discuss the concept as well in that so let's have a look on the index sheet we have completed from question number 36 in this uh, lecture by reducing the beta increasing the beta to hedge ratio then hedging with the futures as well for some questions and that's it we are done with it now question number 44 uh, 45 onwards we are going to start with the options contract so this is it this is mostly about the futures and i think forward and futures part and the area is completed now we are going to focus on the options contract which is going to be a little trickier so you need to understand with a good mind in that take a break and we'll be back after uh, the break to discuss about the options contract see you said when you grow up you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is and that your life is to live your life inside the world and try not to get in too much trouble and maybe get an education and get a job and make some money and have a family but life can be a lot broader than that when you realize one simple thing and that is that everything around us that we call life was made up by people that are no smarter than you you can build your own life that other people can live in so build a life, don't live one, build one.